weeks. The story is only on 10. A Texas man helps find his missing daughter in Rhode Island. A local man is accused of luring her here and putting her to work as a prostitute. Tonight, he's under arrest, and only NBC10 Sierra Putman spoke with the alleged victim's father. Sierra, he helped police solve this case. That's exactly correct, Patrice. Now, this father flew all the way from Texas right here to Rhode Island to help police save and find his daughter and get her out of the dark, seedy world of sex trafficking. Well, my daughter was enticed by an older man online to come up here. You know, it turned into a bad situation. And That's what happened to Brad's 17-year-old daughter. NBC10 met up with him outside the Providence Police Department Friday on his way to talk to detectives. The Texas dad tracked her down to Rhode Island after the teen ran off to meet up with this man, 34-year-old Dewan Harris of Providence. Harris spent months trying to lure the teen via the Internet. Fearing the worst, Brad Brad started a GoFundMe account and raised more than $1,000. And I just felt like I needed to be diligent. I had the backing of everyone at home. They said, whatever it takes, bring her home. So that's what I did. Brad and police used the teen's ATM card records to help track her. By doing that, they realized she had visited a McDonald's and a family dollar store on Broad Street. He tried texting her in hopes of learning a location. You know, the texts were actually coming from the suspect, but I think the, the goal was to uh, make me feel at ease that she was okay, but I knew in my heart that everything wasn't okay. After five days of searching, he and Providence Police found the teen held against her will in a city apartment. She told police Harris took her phone and the battery. The police report says Harris told her she, quote, shouldn't still be breathing for trying to text her father. It was here on Monty Street where the sex trafficking took place. The teen told police that Harris posted her pictures on Backpage.com and then had Johns meet them at an apartment not far from here. Brad's just glad he found her. When you saw her? Uh, I was shocked at first. I, I, it, was surreal. it was a surreal moment. We made the eye contact like, yeah, this is over. This is happening. We're, we're okay now. Being on the streets, I mean, it might sound like an exciting thing, but it's just a serious place, for, not for kids. The message to parents is, you know what, you have the right to interfere in your kid's private life. You have the right it, to save their life, basically. You know. And according to the police report, Harris had hoped to make four, more than $4,000 by using the teen. Now, her father tells me he's just excited that they're going home and that she's safe, but he says they have a lot of talking and a lot of counseling ahead of them. Reporting live in Providence, Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News.